Good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. The death toll from the new coronavirus outbreak in China continues to rise. At the latest count, Chinese authorities this evening have admitted that at least 490 people have died, with the total number of infection cases rising above 16,600. And in Thailand, our eyes are still on the 138 Thais who returned from the Chinese city of Wuhan last night and are still being kept under medical observation at the naval base of the Thai Navy in Chonburi province. Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha this afternoon offered his moral support to the 138 Thais who were brought back last night from Wuhan, the epicenter of the deadly virus, and are now being quarantined at the naval base of the Royal Thai Navy in Chonburi. In a video call to the returnees from the government house, the Prime Minister inquired them about their conditions and assure them that the government will do its best to take care of them. He also voiced moral support for the medical staffs who have been at the forefront in battling the deadly disease. The 138 returnees were the first group of Thai citizens evacuated from Wuhan. They had been screened by Chinese medical authorities in Wuhan before being put on the charter Air Asia flight to Bangkok, but still need to be quarantined for 14 days. Thai Lion Air, meanwhile, announced today that it is ready to help bring back Thai citizens in China who want to come home for free. The airline said all Thais with Thai passports are eligible to register for return flights to Thailand. The returnees from Wuhan were today given additional medical checkup to find out their latest conditions. Initial examinations did not detect the coronavirus in any of the evacuees. Speaking at a press conference at Satahit Naval Base in Chonburi Province this morning, Deputy Public Health Minister Satit Pitu Techa said of the 138 Thais evacuated from Wuhan, four had high fever and three diagnosed with pneumonia. The other had diarrhea, but none is in serious conditions. An army of reporters and cameramen have been keeping a vigil at the press center at the Naval Base since this morning. While the media are kept out of the quarantine area, they have been constantly provided with updates on the conditions of the returnees. During the press conference this morning, the media were also shown pictures of the interiors of the returnees' lodgings and even what they had for breakfast. And more good news, a taxi driver who became the first case of human-to-human -human transmission of the deadly virus had been completely killed and discharged from hospital with a clean bill of health. Speaking at a press conference, the taxi driver said he was panic-stricken the moment he realized that he had contacted the virus. He said he was down with high fever and immediately took a sick leave before being found to be infected with the virus at a hospital, before being transferred to Bamrat Naradun Infectious Diseases Institute on January the 28th. Public Health Minister Adutin Chan Vedakun confirmed that the 50-year-old taxi driver has been treated, cleared and discharged from hospital. His family members and people who had been in contact with him were also free from the virus, he said. The taxi driver drew an applause after he said despite what he went through, Thai people shouldn't harbor any ill feelings toward Chinese people. He was among nine patients in Thailand who have been killed. Anutin said there are now another 16 people still being treated for the deadly disease and are steadily recovering. The case of the taxi driver is believed to have prompted the Land Transport Department to provide a free medical checkup next week for taxi drivers in Bangkok as part of the preventive measures against the spread of the coronavirus. The service to be administered by medical personnel from the Department of Disease Control will include vaccination against flu and lung X-ray. Meanwhile, Thai authorities have imposed control 
on the pricing and distribution of surgical masks and hand sanitizers, which have become two of the most sought-after items following the deadly virus outbreak. The measure was taken following reported profiteering and a widespread shortage of the two items. And tomorrow night, we will return with more updates on the deadly virus outbreak. And that's all for Thai PBS World tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. นอกจากคนขับแท็กซี่ที่รักษาจนอาการหายแล้วส่งกำลังใจให้ชาวอู่ฮั่นสู้ๆมีการทำคลิปวิดีโอจากประชาชนในพื้นที่3จังหวัดชายแดนภาคใต้นะคะส่งสารไปถึงชาวอู่ฮั่นขอให้กำลังใจให้ผ่านพ้นวิกฤตครั้งนี้ไปได้ค่ะไทยอี้เจียชินไทยจีนพี่น้องกันจ้องหัวเจียโยตุ้งหัวเจียโยประเทศจีนสู้ๆจ้องหัวเจียโยตุ้งหัวเจียโยประเทศจีนสู้